the African Development Bank, AFDB, says about $90 billion is lost to theft of public resources each year. A loss, the body says, has prevented Africa from reaching its full potential as a continent. Trust TV correspondent Chamunda Bank reports that the AFDB says losses incurred via theft of public resources and illicit financial flows, as well as corruption in the continent, has exposed Africa to volatile market prices and highly vulnerable supply chains. The report. Corruption in Africa has stood in the way of the continent's growth as theft of public funds has left very little for African nations to properly plan and budget for its citizens. This has affected Africa's human capital indices on many fronts. African countries seem not to be budgeting enough for their, for their, for their citizens. Of course, that also harks back to the issue of uh, revenue mobilization, but not only that. It's the conceptual framework behind governance that needs to be fixed. For example, Nigeria's budget per capita is one of the lowest in the world. Budget per capita at the federal level is about $165, which probably cannot do anything. According to a recent report released by the World Bank, Nigeria has topped its debt list with $2.9 billion in fresh loans, while Tanzania came second with a $2.7 billion debt. Several developing African nations have been plagued with heavy debt, with a large chunk of its GDP set aside to service debt. The issue of debt has been subject to debate, especially in Nigeria, with arguments about the country's borrowing, the relevance thereof. The chief economist and vice president on economic governance and knowledge management at the AFDB, Kevin Urama, says over 21 countries in Africa are facing debt vulnerability, noting that urgent solutions are needed to prevent vulnerable nations from falling into crisis. You know, because before you only start discussing Afri uh, you know, countries' debt when they are already in crisis or when they are near crisis, and then the IMF do, will do debt sustainability analysis and start creating the warnings that you are close to debt, uh, debt, debt, uh, a debt challenge. And once you are there, it already creates a vicious cycle because the cost of debt, the cost of capital will go up. Once investors begin to feel that you are likely to default, then the risk that they have to take in order to give you more capital to do both capital and recurrent expenditure in countries becomes higher. So you have what you call the Africa, Africa premium that uh, countries pay in order to get capital to do, to do development on the continent. The issue of illicit financial flows, the AFDB says, is just one of the various economic challenges plaguing Africa as the continent faces budgetary issues, exchange debt with several African nations, spending over 50% or more of their GDP on debt servicing. Chamun Dabeng, Trust TV News, Abuja.